Well, take a look at this photo. I know, it looks a bit gory, but this is a photo taken during the autopsy of a dead whale. What you see are the whale's fingers, which were exposed when the flesh and fat were stripped from its pectoral fin. And these fingers tell the most amazing evolutionary saga you will ever hear. Listen to this story, because it will change the way you see nature. Do whales have fingers? Yes, you heard right. Whales have real fingers inside their fins, as a legacy from their ancestors who walked on land millions of years ago. These fingers have survived to the present day. So how did a terrestrial animal return to the sea? This is one of the most incredible stories of evolution. Whales and dolphins, aquatic mammals. Whales and dolphins are marine mammals. So like us, they feed their young with milk, breathe air, have inner ear bones and have hair, at least when they are young. They also have a placenta in the womb and grow up on their mother's milk after they are born. So they are actually much closer to us than we think. Speaking of whales, here's an interesting fact. All dolphins are actually whales, but not all whales are dolphins. Scientifically, whales cetacea are divided into two main groups, toothed whales odontoceti and baleen whales mysticeti. Dolphins belong to the toothed whale group, which means that killer whales orsinus orca are actually large dolphins. It's just like this, all mammals are vertebrates, but not all vertebrates are mammals. So when I see whales in this video, I'm referring to a broad group that includes blue whales, killer whales, sperm whales, and dolphins, and others. Which animals are whales related to? Who do you think are the closest living relatives of whales? You may be surprised, but hippos. Yes, hippos are the closest land mammal relatives of whales. Genetic analysis and the fossil record show that whales share a common ancestor with hippos. This dispels the misconception that whales belong to a completely different group of creatures. Whales diverged from terrestrial mammals much more recently than we thought and share the same family tree as hippos. So how do we know this? Genetic similarities. Modern genetic studies have revealed a strong link between whales and hippos in terms of DNA similarity. In fact, this similarity is much greater than in other land mammals. Common anatomical structures, detailed examination of the internal organs and bone structure of whales shows that they share many similarities with hippos, especially in their skeletal structure. Intermediate species, the fact that whales had intermediate forms living in water and on land during the evolutionary process makes this connection clear in the fossil record. Life habits, hippos, like whales, spend most of their time in the water giving birth in the water and nursing their young in the water. These adaptations suggest that they share a common ancestor. When was this discovery made? Scientists have long proposed different theories about the origin of whales. But in the 1990s, genetic analysis revealed that the common ancestor shared by whales and hippos lived around 55 million years ago. These ancestors were animals that, like hippos today, could spend time both on land and in the water. Over time, they followed to different paths. Whales adapted completely to water, while hippos continued to live both on land and in the water. The vestigial hind limbs of whales, silent witnesses to evolution. Whales living today may look like they don't have hind legs, but in fact they still have traces of them on their bodies. The ancestors of whales were terrestrial mammals, so they had fur legs. But over time, as they adapted to water, the need for their hind legs diminished and atrophied. But here's the interesting part. Some whales still have leg bones hidden inside them. In the early stages of development, whale embryos develop small hind leg protrusions. But as development progresses, these legs disappear. In some whale species, the remnants of the hind limbs are still inside the body, albeit very small. In some rare birth anomalies, some whales are even born with small, non-functioning hind limbs. 
These vestigial organs are one of the clearest proofs that whales descended from land-walking ancestors. If whales had always lived in the sea, they would never have had the remains of hind limbs. Like the vestigial hind limbs of whales, our bodies also bear the scars of evolution. Coccyx, our ancestors had a tail, but it became redundant as we started walking upright. It is still a remnant in our bodies today. Appendix, it was important for digesting plants, but lost its function as our diet changed. Now all it does is get inflamed and removed sometimes. Wisdom teeth, our ancestors had big jaws and used these teeth. But as our jaws got smaller, the teeth could no longer fit. Most people have them impacted or they cause problems. Just like the whale's missing legs, our bodies carry traces of the past. Evolution not only adds new things, it sometimes forgets to erase old structures. What is the significance of this information? This discovery confirms many of the predictions of evolutionary theory. The genetic and fossil evidence clearly shows that whales evolved from land mammals, not fish. This is one of the most important examples of how scientists are unraveling evolutionary relationships. The fact that whales are so closely related to hippos today is supported not only by anatomical and genetic similarities, but also by their behavior. The fact that hippos give birth in the water, depend on the water to nurse their calves and move around in the water helps us understand what kind of lifestyle the ancestors of whales had. As a result, if you are looking at a hippopotamus, you are actually looking at a distant cousin of whales. One of the greatest evidence of evolution. The internal structure of whales and the fossil record perfectly illustrate how the theory of evolution works. Evolution is not a purely random process, but rather a process of change driven by natural selection. Fossils, genetic data, and anatomical evidence all tell the same story, how a terrestrial mammal transformed over time into a giant sea creature. This is not unique to whales. Evolution is a great force that shapes all living things in nature. So which animal do you think has the most interesting example of evolution in nature? Write in the comments. Let's analyze the most surprising ones together. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more science-filled content. See you in the next video.